guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome back to Elite Dangerous. Frontier released the first Dev Diary promo video for Odyssey, which gave the first insight into what the update is going to look like. So, as we know, the Odyssey update is due for release early in 2021 and will be a paid expansion. The update will allow players to leave their ships and walk around on planets. In the background we can see a footage of the new planet tech, which for the first time includes basic atmospheres. This in turn will open up and increase the number of planets that can actually be landed on. Now, due to the fact that players will be walking around on planets, Frontier have improved the planetary services somewhat in order to offer up increased levels of details from this close perspective that is on foot. In addition to the new details, perhaps the most obvious change are the skies. It looks like there's going to be a great variety of sky colours, and Frontier touch on the variety of planets when they talk about types of atmosphere, surface pressure, temperatures and other things. The new planetary tech also extends to a new rocky and new ice worlds. Ice worlds of course are a long awaited addition to the game after having been mentioned way back in 2017 as being intended for the beyond season. You can see here the 2017 concept art on screen right now, and if we look at the footage for the new Ice World tech in Odyssey, it's definitely heading in the right direction. In fact, these are vastly better than the Ice Worlds currently in the game, very, very much so. Monty also mentioned cryovolcanism. Forms of these already exist in the game with fumaroles and geysers, but the real question will be if these are improved for Odyssey. For example, in our very own solar system, there are moons with eruptions on them that are so massive they extend all the way up into space. That might be a bit much to expect from Odyssey, but it will be interesting to see which direction they take cryovolcanism in. The underlying principle then is that we can expect to see many of the same features that planets already have, such as craters, various markings and scorings, certain geological activities, valleys and more, but all of them will be scientifically accurate and will be much improved over what we have today. Overall then, the new planets look very, very impressive. The worlds are clearly a huge improvement over what is available in the game right now. There's also a few shots of some very impressive lighting. The coloration of the skies is going to be a huge boon for exploration, shaking things up a bit, adding variety and keeping things interesting. In some areas, the coloration looks especially impressive. Now, the video is very light for what this all means in terms of gameplay. A few key points were mentioned, however. The first, in reference to suits, which protect the players from the elements of space. That said, Frontier didn't mention how or if this will have an impact upon the gameplay itself. There's also a mention of flora. These come in a variety of different forms, different types of plants, from which players can collect samples of data, both for the codex and to return to spaceports. In principle, it seems that this is very much like the same type of activity of collecting such plant-based data with the SRV currently. However, in the new case, players will be able to do so with a hand tool and do so on foot. So, stepping back from all of this a little, Frontier also touched on the scale of ships as viewed from the outside and on foot. This is something that people have discussed for years. It's very difficult to get a good idea of the true scale of ships visually. After all, the Anaconda and other such ships are equal in size to a stadium and not that much smaller than an aircraft carrier. Being on foot will be able to convey this far more than being in an SRV or by using the external cam, so hopefully the ships actually look really, really good when we're finally out there on foot. Of course, the subject of ships is a very curious one. Frontiers still have not mentioned the ability to walk around inside ships or inside space stations. Whether or not this will be a thing, Frontier are entirely silent on. Personally speaking, I feel it would be a massively missed opportunity and extremely disappointing to say the least if it doesn't happen. Conversely though, from a business perspective, it would make a lot of sense for Frontier to hold off any such announcements until later. If walking around inside ships is to be a thing, then revealing it closer to release would certainly be a way of generating lots of interest. The official Dev Diary video is currently available on Frontier's YouTube channel and is well worth taking a look. Although that said, it certainly feels of more of a marketing piece than a development diary. More of my thoughts on that in just a moment. Meanwhile, the video will also be featured in Frontier's official live stream later today, that's the 17th of August, in case you're watching this at a later time. During the live stream, Frontier will be discussing the Odyssey video. Now, I'm also hoping that they get into some nitty-gritty details on these particular aspects of Odyssey that they've shown in the video. 
I for one would like to learn more about the specific technology that has gone into the new planets. What precisely has been improved and changed? How many planets will it open up for landing? Do light atmospheres include places like Mars and Titan? Beyond that, there's the aspects of gameplay. Will the light atmospheres be thick enough to have any impact upon the flight model, or are they too thin for that? Indeed, the new video raises far more questions than it actually answers. It's certainly a great insight into how the game will look when it appears, but it certainly isn't an insight into the development process, which is something I was personally hoping for. It's possible that some of these questions and more will be answered on the live stream later on. If so, that would be truly fantastic. But if not, then there's perhaps room for some few changes in the future Dev Diary videos. For now though, I'm certainly happy to see that at least planets have finally taken some great new steps. I think this is going to be a wonderful for exploration, and I'm looking forward to future videos where Frontier can hopefully show us some new gameplay. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.